Hey guys, it's me, Mr. 250, and welcome back to Trauma Team. So, we're back with Gabe, and we gotta figure out what's wrong with this guy. And I think, yeah, we got a tumor shadow on the left lung. That was the last thing that we picked up. Let's see. Tumor shadow can be seen in the lung. Hmm. These symptoms point to a pancos tumor. We need Bony. a sputnum we need psychology. A psychology done. We need to examine the cells in his sputum and check for a sputum. malignant tumor sputum, reaction. Sputum, not sputum. Understood, Doctor. We should return to the examination room. We figured out what's wrong with you. We just gotta, we gotta, we gotta dispute him. We're about to dispute him, you. Hope you're ready for this. Thank you for your hard work, Doctor. Come on, stop being so uptight. There's no need for all this formal nonsense. P pardon me, sir. It's all right. So, will you cooperate with the sputum exam? Yes, sir, of course. Good, that'll help us. Roni, send it for analysis. Understood. I will let you know when the results come back. Well then, all that's left is to wait for those results. I was nervous what could possibly be wrong with him. Looks like I'll make it back for dinner. Um, Doctor, may I attach an addendum to my initial symptom report? Hmm? Huh? Of course. Well, tell me anything you can. The pain in my chest has just begun to increase in magnitude. Hmm. It'll be a while until the test results come back. Let's see what may be causing that. I I'm sorry to trouble you, sir. Thank you. Roni, I need another x-ray. Get it ready for me. Understood, Doctor. Making preparations for the examination. Okay, so can we go look at the uh, the X-ray now? Oh, my voice, uh, that was that was not fun. Uh, voice going crazy. The latest X-ray results are ready for you to review. Great. Let's have a look. Okay. I don't like the look of that thing. Yeah, in fact, in a normal image, it should stop about right there, so... And yet there's all this stuff growing right there. Whatever the heck that is. What? The shadowing? We've seen this before, haven't we? Wait, I've seen something like this before. <laughs> Roni, do an immediate search for matching cases. Yep, yep. Understood, Doctor. Doctor, you worked on this one before. One, case match. It is a patient diagnosed with an illness similar to Kaposi's sarcoma at Resurgum. If I recall, the patient went through drastic condition changes one after another. Don't tell me this patient's also... Damn it, I have a bad feeling about this. Anyways, there's nothing we can do right now. Just have to wait for the lab results. Well, we know there's something wrong with you, at least. Doctor, the results of the sputum cytology are in. Would you like a report? Yeah. No. How was it? Don't tell me how it went. The results came back positive. Malignant tumor cells were detected from the patient's sputum. I see. All right. At least we can make a decision on the disease now. I'm still worried about that shadowing in the lungs. Let's work on a diagnosis first. Understood, Doctor. New symptoms. Positive for malignant tumor cells. Okay, um, I guess we can match that up, can't we? Time to narrow down. Yes. Yep, we got this. Let's go. Positive for malignant. Yep, yep, here we go. I think we figured it out. You got, we got, you got a pancos tumor. There's Congratulations. No it's a pancos tumor. The previous patient with that shadowing underwent unexplainable changes in her condition. We aren't through yet, Roni. I'm going to continue the diagnosis. Understood, doctor. Sending a request for continuation of the diagnosis. I hope there aren't any unpleasant surprises here. Oh, it's Trauma Center. Don't worry, unpleasant surprises are around every corner. Comparing the lung shadow to the data from Resurgum. This current data is a 40% match. Damn. It's not encouraging. Let's start the diagnosis. 
which likely means that it might be similar, but it's not going to be exact. Now, just as I thought, we found a tumor in your lungs. Something odd's been found, too. I'm sorry, but I'll, I'll need to look into it more. Um... Huh? What's wrong? Are, are you in pain? I have a daughter. Ah. She'll be turning three this summer. I see. Well, all the more reason to hurry your exams along. Wouldn't want to miss your daughter's birthday and have her run off with some boy, right? <laughs> of course not, sir. All right, so what's wrong with you now? Uh, we're reporting a new symptom. As of a moment ago, my stomach has begun to hurt. Stomach ache? Abdominal pains now. Conditions of this disease may be progressing after all. Roni, record that. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. Stomach ache. Th that's all, sir. Is it all? Really? You sure about that? Better be telling me everything. Alright, let's see what's wrong with you this time. You probably got all sorts of weird things. Okay, that's normal. Well, that's, that's stomach sounds. It's about the same. And I can, I can tell that's the same. All that sounds okay. Nothing wrong with there. Let's go back to the diagnostic part again. See if we can find anything that's changed in here. You look good so far. Keep it up. Actually, don't keep it up. Then we won't be able to diagnose you. Your total bill... Bill... Yeah, you got you got too much of that. You got too much total bilirubin. Mm. His total bilirubin level is your bilirubin's too high. Roni, add that to our shopping list. Understood, doctor. New symptom observed. High total bilirubin level. Also, I'm noticing both the AST and the ALT are high as well. His AST level is unusually high. Roni, record that symptom. These ones are going to be important, I'm sure. New symptom observed. High AST level. Hmm. He's got a high ALT. Roni, that's not normal. Understood, doctor. New symptom observed. High ALT level. Added to the list. <laughs> He's got all sorts of things wrong with him. And your YGTP level, what is that even? Yeah, you got too much of them enzymes. Wait, what did it say? In blood, it indicates liver bile duct problems. Which these are, these are blood, right? Yeah, these are in blood, so... You have a problem with your liver or bile duct. His gamma GTP is abnormally high. Roni, you getting all this? Yeah, your gamma. Yes, I totally knew New what that was. <laughs> Dang it. High gamma GTP. I should have known that. Let's just say that. And your LAP. Your lap, you got too much lap. LAP level is definitely beyond the average range. Roni, make a note. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. High LAP level. What even is a L a L a LAP? Leucine out of aminopeptidocene is an enzyme that breaks down proteins. Liver and bile duct disorders. I didn't even know that. We could We could use these to help us determine it as well. Liver, yeah, I see a liver problem. He should have jaundice in his eyes then, right? Or no, wait, no. Was jaundice, jaundice was yellowing in the eyes, right? If I'm not mistaken. 
I thought I saw something up with his eyes, but I wasn't uh, like quite sure. See, we will do like a visual inspection of that in a second. Liver cancer, yeah, yeah. All this is looking like he's having a liver problem. The Pivka 2 level's too high. Roni, make a note of it. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. High Pivka 2 level. Oh, holy crap. I just saw that. AFP is like off the charts, yo. Look at that. What the heck? Yeah, um, you don't just have like, like, you know, 20 or something. You have a thousand, three hundred, twenty-seven. There's an abnormality in the AFP level. That's not abnormality. That's like, that's like Money someone quarters. injected you with AFP. New symptom observed. High AFP level. Good lord. Your AFP is off the charts, yo. And I think that's it. So we picked up a lot of symptoms there. Wow. Let's check his eyes for jaundice. Definitely see some yellowing, it looks like. Hmm. The whites of his eyes have become yellow. It's jaundice. Roni, you know what to do. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. Jaundice. And that's why it's important to read everything. Um, we already kind of checked well, your eye. Oh, okay, some that was it. Cool. To consider. Let's sort them back out at our workspace. Okay, I guess that's all we needed. Excellent. I'm glad I read that. I probably... It would have been iffy if I picked up on that. His eyes looked a little weird, but I wasn't quite sure. See if we sure. can narrow things down a bit with this new data. Just not quite sure. Okay. I'm gonna go for the malignant liver tumor first, just because I think it ha it's probably... Something like that. Stomach aches. Got jaundice. Hi. I do remember that. Where's that? Uh, Pivka 2. And AFP. AST. ALT. LAP. Gamma G T P and Bur 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 Bill Rubin. We we'll probably need to do a CT scan and a scintigraphy exam. Look for swollen liver. A malignant liver tumor? Another malignant tumor. It's not fully confirmed. But I have a bad feeling. Doctor, would you like to send in a request for a liver examination? Yeah, get me a CT and a scintigraphy. I want to check the CT first. Understood, Doctor. The CT examination is now available, and I have sent a request for the scintigraphy. Man, that Please CT's check fast. The CT results first. Got it. I'll head to the image analysis lab. They're on top of that thing. Look at that. And that's why it pays to read. Saved me a good bit of time there. I would have gone down the whole list. Are ready for you. Yeah, let's get to it. Oh boy, let's play. A look at the uh, the the slightly larger than normal thing. We're looking for something enlarged. Is it on that slide? I think it might be, I think it might be down here. Let me keep looking for a bit, though. Oh, yeah. Yep, definitely see it right there. I'm pretty sure that's the liver. Just as I thought. The liver swollen. Roni, record this. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. Swollen liver. Well, we've pretty much gotten all of it, I think, at this point. Great. Nothing really left of interest to look at. Here we got the swollen liver, so yeah, nothing really else, I think. All we need is the scintigraphy now. Can't find the tumor. 
Ah, so we gotta find a shadow within the tumor. Gotcha. Okay. That's something I can probably do, considering the tumor is, like, stark white. Right about here, I think. No, but it, like, the, the dark area. Okay, apparently that's not it. <laughs> Maybe it'll be something a bit more obvious. Oh, hey, oh, there we go. There it is. This light shadowing. Is this a tumor? Roni, collate it with your data. Check if any cases match this. Understood, Doctor. Beginning collation. Probability of relevant correspondence is 58%. It's a little bit low. To clear shadow, it's impossible to collate it further. Hmm. Too close to make a call. I'll need to double check this with the scintigraphy after all. I figured we were going to do that anyway. <laughs> Bring up the scintigraphy results. Are they ready? Yes, Doc. The scintigraphy is now available. All right. Accumulation of gallium. Oh yeah, there's definitely nice, like, wedges of accumulation that just does not seem right at all. Huh? The accumulation can be seen in this tumor in the liver. Yeah, that's really shape, weird, isn't it? Isn't normal. Doctor, this shadowing is similar in shape to that of the one confirmed in the lungs. Yeah, but it isn't normal. Roni, make a note in his file. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. Abnormal accumulation in liver. Yep, you got guilt. Sorry. I think we've got it. It's just malignant liver tumor. But knowing how these go so far, it's like, oh, there's got to be more behind it. There's got to be more behind it. And so we're going to have to check him again for like something else, I'm sure. You've got a malignant liver tumor. Congratulations! There's but... Oh. What is that shadowing? Whoops. It skipped some of your text. It's in the lungs. And now, it's in the liver. What in the world's going on? Wasn't it a thyroid problem the last person had? Or was that... No, that was that other kid. Never oh, yeah. mind. Roni, send a progress report to the higher-ups. Our client's probably starting to get impatient. Yes, Doc. Would you like to continue on with the diagnosis? Yeah. There's still something that doesn't add up. Understood, Doc. Doctor, we have an urgent situation. I received a report that the patient collapsed. Please head to the examination room immediately. What? I'm on my way. Wait, Doctor, hurry up. I mean, slow down. I'm not as fast Shadowing as you are. Liver too? What the hell's going on? Patient's condition has worsened. Please go to the exam room. Damn it. I'm gonna find out what it is no matter what. Now see, here's here's the thing, is that diagnosis only works so far as to tell you, it, like, you're diagnosing it with previously confirmed illnesses, like, and in the real world that works most of the time. In fact, that works a lot of the time. But if you get some unseen illness, diagnosing doesn't do a whole lot. <laughs> I mean, maybe you can, like, say, well, you know, we can figure out how to treat some of the symptoms it's causing, but we don't really know how to deal with the thing itself. Oh, doctor. You don't look well. I heard you collapsed. Are you all right? No. I just lost my balance. I'm sorry, sir. No, it's fine. But don't strain yourself. If you don't feel well, you need to lie down and... Doctor? Huh? What is it? I'm afraid of death. The fact that I might die from this... It frightens me quite a lot, sir. I'm a failure as a soldier. Of course you're afraid, you dimwit. Huh? Everyone feels that way. After all, when you die, that's it. Doctors, soldiers, everyone's afraid of dying. Now, if you understand, then turn around and look at me. Let's run some more tests. <sighs> Okay, I'm gonna try again and figure out that he's got something weird. But I want to look at his face. Is 
eyes look funny. Maybe that's Doctor, normal, but they look weird. I'm sorry. I can't cooperate with the examination any longer. And why is that? Huh? What do you mean? I was just given an order to cease all my cooperation with your diagnostics. From who? What? That's impossible! What are you talking about? Uh-oh. He is correct, Doctor. I have just confirmed that order. Oh. But when, when did this happen? Like, did, did does he have like a brain chip implanted? Our clearance for using the image analysis lab has been revoked as well. Why? Pending further discussion, the army will not let us diagnose him any further. Well, screw that! Who gives a damn about their politics? His condition is getting worse. Are they gonna just let him die? I cannot say, Doctor. However, given recent actions, that appears to be their intent. You're not very comforting. What? Doctor, it's all right. Uh. If you start making a scene, you won't be safe either. But you really tried your best to help me. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Damn it! Roni, isn't there some way? There is not, Doctor. I have confirmed the existence of a spyware program installed on my hard drive. We'll go kill it. Presumably. If we examine the patient further, the army's leaders will be alerted. Then why don't we just write it down on a piece of paper like people normally do? Ugh. Think. There's gotta be a way. Dr. Cunningham, I have finished analyzing the spyware program. Huh? You can do that? Oh yes, the computer's too smart. I cannot delete it, but I have an understanding of its parameters. The program triggers an alarm whenever it registers direct diagnostic activity. Alright. What are you getting at? It appears that if we make idle conversation with our friend, they will not be alerted. Ah. I see where you're going. Please inform me. I, I, I kind of have an idea of what you're talking about, but I want to be sure. Great job, Roni. Whoever put that spyware together sure did a great job. D doctor what are you going to- Hmm? Oh, nothing. By the way, soldier, we're friends, right? <laughs> this is so goofy, but I love it. Huh? I if you say so, Doctor. Is that so? Then, let's have a friendly chat, shall we? We're not diagnosing him, we're just talking about stuff that's happening. Two buddies. Chewing the fat. It's not like I'm examining <laughs> you or anything. No, of course uh, not. Yes, uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, bud. Bud. <laughs> uh, I love these games. I really no, do. They're so good. I'm going to initiate a fun little chat with my friend here. His friend, the keyword. And of course, it's just idle banter. Not at all an examination or anything <laughs> clinical. I love it. It's so good. That means I'll have to make sure to pay attention to everything that comes out of his mouth. Does that mean that Roni's not going to record it and we actually have to do it ourselves? Uh, Doc, uh, I mean, Mr. Cunningham, thanks for coming to chat with me. You're welcome for chatting well, let's with you. See. Uh, why don't I tell you about my life in the army? We soldiers go through severe conditioning training every day. Because of that, even sitting still, like this, sometimes my muscles hurt so bad that I can barely stand it. <laughs> yep. Muscle pains, huh? You don't say. Hey, Roni, can you jot that down? It's not important. Just a memo so I remember my friend later. I would love to do that. Meaningless, friendly observation. Oh my gosh. Muscle pains. It's so cheesy, but I love it. I just, it's so, so stupid, but I love it. Still, in, in order to get promoted, you have to study, too. I try to make time at night to read the instructional materials, but just reading all that stuff gives me a headache sometimes, you know? A headache? Oh, well, you know, it's pretty hard to study like that, isn't it? Your head hurts, you say. Gee, I almost missed that one. Clever friend of mine. Good job with that, friend. Thanks for telling Buddy, me about that. Would you be a dear and make a memo of that? I'd like to include it in my Christmas card this year. It would be my pleasure. Meaningless, Meaningless friendly, friendly observation. observation. <laughs> I just figured we'd have to write this down on a piece of paper or something. 
Oh, but it's not all bad. The meals are usually pretty good. But sometimes I feel like, uh, there isn't the right balance of ingredients in the food. There's something about that, but I don't really know what it means. Right balance, huh? Yeah. Somehow, I don't think he meant the food. Oh. Still, he's he... my pal and all. I should make sure he's eating right. Army food's famously terrible. Is he just saying he can't, he can't, Ronnie, like, he can't make balance very well? Sure would suck if he got anemic from what they're feeding him here. That's awfully sociable of you. Friendly <laughs> Awfully sociable. Do you think the ventilation's working properly in here? I was okay until a moment ago, but it suddenly feels really hot. Mister, you've been a good friend. I trust you'll know what to do. So he's hot. Feeling hot? But the AC's working just fine. Oh yeah, fever, Perhaps of course. My acquaintance Stupid me. Is stricken <laughs> with a fever. Acquaintance. Maybe I can make use of this. I'm sorry, old chum, but you aren't able to cooperate with any exams, right? Uh, yes, I'm sorry. I find it interesting that while they prohibited us from doing anything, they're just like, you know what, we're gonna let them chill down there for a good 20 minutes since we don't have to worry about anything bad happening. So, you can't lift up your shirt and let me examine you, right? Not even as friends? Like special friends. No, I couldn't do that. Well, that's too bad. But orders are orders, right? Nevertheless, buddy, if you feel hot in here, feel free to take your shirt off and cool down. <laughs> I mean, after all, it's just us guys in here, right? And the stupid the bros, female uh, robot. Just a couple of buds. Just some buds. What about me? I do not believe I am technically a bro. There you go again. Always trying to drive a stake between us. You're jealous of what we have. Oh man, this is getting this is getting real interesting here. Well, that's one way getting to do sensual. it. sensual. Well, it is pretty hot in here. Maybe I will take my shirt off. Well, go right ahead. <laughs> no sense being uncomfortable when we're having such a pleasant conversation. Would you like me to make a fever memo in case you wish to review this repartee at a later date? Why, yes, that would be splendid. How considerate of you to look after me and my good acquaintance here. Good acquaintance. Naturally, Doctor. It is in my programming to have a pleasant bedside manner. Alright, so I think we're done now. Yeah. Now we can get to the visual examination. So he's obviously got, like, bloody eyes. Bloodshot eyes. I hate it when my friends have these troubles. Brony, can you jot that down? File it in one of those uh, useless non-medical databases. I have the perfect place for it. Meaningless, friendly observation. I'm glad that Roni isn't going like too much along with it, where Roni just is actually not writing it down. That would that would suck. Anyway, yeah, take that shirt off. It's getting, it's getting hot in here. Oh, hey there. I mean, it's pretty hot. Yeah, that's, that's probably bad news there. Pigment spots. That's not a good color. Roni, this is very rare. Bravo to my friend here for <laughs> displaying such exquisite coloring. You know, it's, it's real funny and all, except for the fact that this guy is like real darn close to dying, I'm sure. On its rareness. Meaningless friendly observation. But I'm assuming we don't have to log both of them. Yeah. That's enough of that. No colds. 